What's good everybody and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust and Wild Honey. So as you can see all around me there is a bunch of boxes, some footwear, backpack as well as a clothing rack full of clothes and that is because today we're going to be going over all of my recent purchases as well as unboxing everything that I got from the Fear of God garage sale. I got a box here, a few boxes over there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump to today's video. I know this one has been very highly anticipated. I've legitimately considered purchasing boots probably like 50 times. I go to the St. Laurent store all the time in South Coast Plaza to just visit them. Um, I eventually pulled the trigger on them and man oh man, these are 100% worth it. In fact, I would go as far as to say that amongst all of the designer things I've ever, ever purchased, these are the ones that are the most worth it in my opinion. Everything about these boots is outstanding. And I mean that by every stretch of the word, from the materials, to the craftsmanship, to the way they feel, to the way they make you feel, to that feeling when you look down and you see these things on feet and when you wear them, honestly, there isn't a better boot that I've ever owned. There isn't a better clothing piece that I ever owned apart from these. As hyperbolic as I may sound right now, I'm really just speaking exactly how I feel. I know that for those of you out there that own St. Laurent boots or these boots specifically, you will agree with me. If you do eventually decide that these boots are for you i do suggest going true to size if not maybe a size down these are size 42 and are approximately eight and a half to size nine i will say that there is a little bit of space in these shoes for me but it's nothing too too bad next up is another pair of shoes and honestly these might be the most slept on sneakers of 2018 which is kind of a shame but kind of worked in my benefit because i got these off of goat for retail but these sneakers are just a1 they are immaculate and you can't really expect anything less from john elliott everything that he does is a1 i really do appreciate the craftsmanship of everything that he does but most specifically in these sneakers here these are the air force ones and honestly guys so so worth it everything as it pertains to the leather the quality uh, just the subtle details are just amazing the double tongue there you have the embossed nike swoosh these things are amazing but the best part about these sneakers is the insole holy smokes i never thought air force ones could be this comfortable the insole is so thick so plush and very very soft so yeah, I'm very, very happy with this purchase. A retail of $150, definitely worth it. For my next recent purchase, I did get this Louis Vuitton Joshua backpack. Now the quality is amazing. The way it keeps its shape is awesome. The zipper super smooth. There's really nothing bad I can say. Of course, it is a luxury brand. Do I believe $1,600 is practical or justified for a backpack like this? I would probably say not. Honestly, if you have that kind of money, you could probably buy three really, really great, well-built backpacks. Honestly, what you're paying for is the name. Fortunately enough, I did not have to pay that $1,600. There's nothing too much I can say about it. It's a backpack, so let's go ahead and move on. Next up for my recent purchases, we have the two Cause Unique Low items uh, that I purchased. So first here, we have a French Terry crew neck. Uh, the French Terry is relatively thin, but $30, I can't really complain. You have a nice graphic here on the back, and I have been getting a lot of questions about how sizing is. I personally went for a size 2XL just because I know Uniqlo uh, runs really, really small. Um, and I do like my things slightly oversized. And I find that it fits perfectly if you want to use me for reference. I'm approximately 5'7 and weigh about 160 pounds. At $30 and at $15, would I recommend these items? Absolutely. The quality is A1 from Uniqlo. People sleep on this brand so much, so I would highly recommend these at the price points that they're at. Next up is one of my many rude purchases of the month. As you can see here, it is a Sugarland tee. Um, I did go for a size large and it is a bit long. Uh, it's really weird because with Root, I find that there is a bit of inconsistency as it pertains to sizing. So that's just fair warning for you guys. What I would really recommend if you're shopping Root is to get measurements before you make your final purchase. With all that to say, I really, really do love Root's teeth simply due to the fact that it is made of a self fabric rib, which gives it a really soft feel. It is acid washed. It might be pigment washed as well, but it gives you that really cool like over dyed look. It makes it look like it's aged and vintage and very, very soft to the touch. Uh, when you wear them, they're very flowy, very soft. So um, I'm definitely a huge fan of Root Tees. I've actually acquired quite a bit over the course of this month. I have a bunch that I'm not gonna be showing today. 
uh, but this is just one of them. Really do like it a lot. Um, staying on the topic of Rude t-shirts, I did just purchase this one off of Essence. I believe the retail price was just around $250. Um, it is tan as you can see. It's one of the newer ones. Again, just an aged, super soft feeling t-shirt. Um, if I could put a number on it, I'd put it at 150 GSM, just super, super soft, great fabric. And again, you have the details about Rude that just make it pop, you know, like the V stitching here on the back. It's just the little things that kind of make Rude Rude. So I'm definitely a huge fan of these t-shirts. If you guys are wondering if I do believe this shirt is worth $250, Honestly, that is a subjective matter for me personally. Tees are very big to me. Like if I if I really like a tee, then I'm willing to spend for it. Um, it's tough to say. In all honesty, $250 is a lot of money for a t-shirt. Honestly, it's for any garment of clothing, be transparent with you. But if we're just staying subjective, if we're like keeping in the realm of streetwear and stuff, I would be hard pressed to find a t-shirt that I like more than this one. So take with that um, as you will. I won't answer that for you, but to me, I mean, obviously I did purchase these t-shirts. So for now I will say yes, but it's kind of not practical. So it really is all up to you. Next up, we have a Rude crew neck, uh, which was also purchased uh, during the Essence sale. Actually, I forgot to mention, uh, this one was retailed at uh, $250 approximately. I paid $150. Uh, this one is retails at like $360 and I paid about $250. So uh, pretty nice savings there. Essence sale is just so, so good. Keep an eye on it because they will be price dropping very soon as well. But yeah, back to the crew neck. It is just so, so nice. Anyways, I just thought this graphic was super sick. I love the pop of color uh, that is on this rude tee. And honestly, I'd probably just wear a pretty muted outfit. Um, maybe just a whole lot of black and just let the let the pink really be like kind of like the statement aspect of my outfit But really glad to have this thing. It's super sick now on to the question Is this item worth it for me? And this is strictly based off of my opinion and all of this is I would say yes because I see myself wearing this a lot I really really do like it very very much and when it comes to I guess garments that are on like the higher tier or like more expensive, I really try to consider cost per wear. Okay, so on to the last piece from Rude and one of the most expensive items from this haul, we have here this satin varsity jacket. The outer shell is all satin as well as the inner lining being satin. This thing is heavy, it's super, super high quality. In between all that satin is an insulation padding, which just pretty much makes it a little bit bulkier and keeps you warmer. Uh, but overall, just a really nice jacket. This is a size large. I probably could have gone with a medium. But anyways, it really is just a simple jacket to say the least. Very, very versatile. It has the embroidery here on the sides, black and white checkerboard with the RH for Rude. Just a really sick jacket, honestly. I see myself wearing this thing a lot. Um, I haven't considered if I'm gonna for sure move down to a medium, but I am happy with this jacket to say the least. It was retailing at $1,200. I did purchase it on sale, so I didn't pay anywhere close to that. Would I say this is worth the retail price of $1,200? I would probably say not just because uh, there are so many varsity jackets out there that you could buy in black and white. The design concept is pretty, pretty simple. So I think there'd be a ton of other alternatives. Of course, it might not be satin because it is a very expensive fabric. Guys, it's been like three days since I've received these packages, but I patiently waited so I could unbox it together with you. It's not been easy. And I actually did crack a little bit because I did open up one of them. Uh, just because I wanted to wear it and I was, I don't know, I, I justified it to myself that I can open the other two together with you, so. And it's just one thing, so it's okay. Anyways, we have here, look at this presentation, by the way, it's beautiful. We have here, Fear of God, uh, baseball cap, the new era one in the navy colorway. Would I say this is worth the $300 price tag that Jerry was initially asking for? I will emphatically and definitively say, heck to the no. Um, at the end of the day, this really just feels like a New Era hat. Now, that's not to say New Era hats are bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just a hat. And when you consider that, you know, normal hats do retail for about $30, $35, um, it kind of makes spending $300 look a little ridiculous. I know that midway through fifth collections run, uh, they did reduce them down to $150, which I still think uh, is a bit high in my opinion. 
Now I did pay $49 for this at the Fear of God garage sale, which excludes the tax and the shipping, which was a bit expensive in my opinion. But um, I would say about $49 seems fair, even 49 plus tax. Uh, just because you are getting the Fear of God branding. Allegedly, these were made with higher quality materials as well as being manufactured and embroidered by Fear of God. So I think 49 is totally fair in my opinion. Even $80, I feel like that would be totally fair just because of the materials and the branding and stuff like that. Even 90, I think 90 would be uh, kind of the top of my budget for a hat like this. Pardon the interruption, guys. I had to go run and grab a knife, but we are gonna be opening my newest stuff from Fear of God. Anticipation is at an all time high. So unlike when you purchase at retail stores, they do come in these little Ziploc bags for freshness. The bags kind of remind me of the Bog Pack Sun Ziploc bags. That kind of rings a bell there, but yeah, it's just really, really nice presentation. So for the first item, we have the printed heavy jersey hoodie. I did go for a size medium. Now, I've never tried this one on or even felt it in person. So this will be every bit of a surprise for me as it is to you. And just right off the rip, right off the bat, this thing's really, really thin. It really just feels like more like a heavy cotton long sleeve shirt, if that makes sense. So for this first piece, I'm not disappointed but I will say it's a bit anticlimactic because I was kind of expecting, I don't know, maybe like a, a terry material or something, or just something a little bit thicker, but it's like, it feels like a thick t-shirt, if that makes sense. I'm here on the sides, we have uh, just some nice green printing that reads Fear of God jeans. Just a really, really simple piece for the most part, which I was expecting, uh, but I didn't expect it to be this, I guess it's thin. I know that retail was at 450 bucks, which is actually at the lower tier of Fear of God tops, so I suppose I couldn't really expect too, too much, but yeah, it's, it is a nice piece for sure. I probably see myself layering this one or something like that, wearing, maybe wearing like a, like a short sleeve over it. I don't know, we'll kind of have to think about it a little bit, but yeah, definitely cool. Now, strictly based off of my first impressions, is this item worth it? I would probably have to say it feels like it's worth closer to $90 that I've paid for at the Fear of God garage sale rather than the $450 retail price point that it was marked at. This next item feels substantially heavier, so I don't doubt that this won't disappoint. But let's go ahead and see what's inside. What do we have here? Uh, okay, so actually, if you guys don't know from fourth collection, uh, the crewnecks have always been one of my favorite pieces. I'm actually wearing one right now. And I was really, really ecstatic that I was able to purchase this. Let's go ahead and crack it open here. This is my first time actually feeling the fifth collection version. And it is heavy. This thing feels incredible. This thing feels substantial. Feels very, very structured. Everything about this. This is the perfect crew neck. Fear of God has been known for making the most amazing essential pieces. Um, and this piece here does not disappoint by any stretch. Now, as controversial as this opinion may be, and this is strictly my opinion, is this worth $90? Absolutely. 100%. Is it worth 400? In my opinion, this is strictly my opinion. I say yes. Now, I say that because it's really difficult to find pieces that you're just so, so in love with, especially essential pieces. And I can tell you definitively, I love this item and I will wear this a ton. Um, I'm so excited to have this in my wardrobe. Really great piece. Well done, Jerry Lorenzo, fifth collection. Probably my favorite piece from fifth collection so far. Okay, so last up, we have the big box here. Let's go ahead and just crack it right open. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna start out with, I guess, the smaller pieces, for lack of better words, and then work our way up to just like the bigger deal pieces. You guys may have already guessed what it is. It is another hat, and it is from the All-Star Collection. I don't wanna to talk too much about it, it's just a hat at the end of the day, but I did get a red hat. Really, really nice. Next up, I did get, yes, yet again, another hat. So I did get another mustard yellow one just because the one that I have is a little bit big on me and it's kind of beat already. So um, I decided to kind of double up on it. I wear this thing a lot. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Paul, that's a lot of hats and you have one head. I know 
kind of impulsive of me to do, but I mean, for the price point, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep on it. So next up, we have another piece that I'm very, very excited for. If you guys recall when I did uh, the video where I kind of overviewed Fifth Collection prior to it actually releasing, I did speak very, very highly of this piece. And wow, this thing just feels so good in hand. I do believe it's the same French Terry that was used on the crew neck. But yeah, this thing is so, so sick. It does fit really boxy. So I will probably wear something underneath it just so it's like not so cropped and it accentuates my lack of height. But yeah, definitely a really cool piece. Feels amazing in hand. We got uh, that nice denim up top. I don't think this is selvage. Then again, I couldn't really tell you definitively. I did go for a size medium. And yes, for sure, well worth the $90 that I did pay. Okay, so last up for this haul is probably one of the most hype pieces from this Fear of God garage sale. I did end up getting it for $90, which is an absolute steal when you consider that this retailed for over $700. I wanna say it was $740 or $750, but here it is, we have the Fear of God motocross shirt. And as you guys know, I do have it in black. So my opinion on this piece stays you know, just the same. Just before I say what I'm about to say, I do want to preface it with, I don't know what goes into making this item. For all I know, there was insane detail. The fabric is mad expensive and it was made with the tears of baby angels. I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% sure. So this is strictly based off of my opinion. But if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, this has to be one of the most ridiculously overpriced pieces that Fear of God has ever made. Paying the exorbitant amount of $750 for mesh is just kind of gnarly to me, honestly. It's just a bit expensive, in my opinion. I did pay 90 for this, and I do think that's a very, very great price point. I did go for size small in this piece, which seems to fit perfectly. Uh, it is slightly elongated, and it fits a little bit slimmer than most Fear of God pieces, but a small does fit me pretty well, in my opinion, so definitely glad to have it. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, as it does let me know to make more content like I did this one. One, and it does go such a long way for us YouTubers. Comment down below what you guys think overall about the things that I purchased. I want to hear honest opinions. If you guys completely disagree with me and think that all this stuff is worth it or totally not worth it, I'd love to hear your feedback. As always guys, as I end every video here at Locust Wild Honey, I'm going to say peace and be blessed. <laughs>